The following video has been approved by the Jetty marketing team. The video has been rated Jetty. The following video may not be suitable for all viewers. G'day mate, welcome back to Noatorio with me, Jenny. We're back for the second episode and a couple of things, a couple of things are going to be very important for this series. If you're watching on a Windows computer, please turn off night mode. If you're watching on a mobile phone, please turn off the blue light uh, filter. They're going to really, really destroy what little color is left in this particular series because being Noatorio, we've, we've removed most of the color from the game. In saying that, um, you're here for the second episode, so I'm really hoping you're enjoying what you've seen so far and i hope you're going to continue watching at the same time i'd very much appreciate it if you give the video a like at the same time if you're feeling generous if you want to make sure you're not going to miss the third the fourth the fifth episode click the subscribe button at the same time so we're going to continue where we left off trying to get coal running down to our uh our power plant to make sure at least that keeps running and the plan for this episode is how are we? How are we? Oh, we're good. Uh, the plan for this episode is at least try and get a, a early starter base smelting block runner up and running. We've got red science sort of running. Um, well, actually, I'm going to pick uh, dual wielding because we're going to definitely have dual wielding pistols. Uh, and then, of course, grab military along with... That should unlock the SMG. How do I get to the dual wielding SMG? I don't know. We'll work at that out in a second. Uh, we're going to also grab gun turrets because generally not a bad idea uh we'll also grab electronics to grab our fast inserters and we'll leave that at that we'll leave our two labs hmm no we'll double our labs uh can we get two more labs please and um, a couple more hang on i actually want you there no that still doesn't work fine we'll just put the there and there uh power pole done all right, so we're gonna do. Whoop! Really, we're shot an inserter. Okay, I'm uh, gonna get our labs up and running at the same time. I want to grab my jumpstart base. Okay, so this is a very, very simple. Ugh, cliffs. Ugh, cliffs. Um. Huh. <sighs> Where to go, where to start. Uh, well, eventually we're going to run into biters, which is going to be bad. But in the meantime, I think we're going to come... Because this is the size of just a tiny little jump starter base. And we're obviously going to need several smelting blocks. So I'm thinking either we jump past... Yeah, well, let's jump past the cliffs. There are going to be so many trees. But we have the little tiny robots. which should hopefully remove most of the trees. Forests. Uh, I want to dodge those cliffs. So I want to go probably... That's one hell of a distance to run. Let's go the opposite direction. Let's put it over there. Okay, we're going to go run and pop it over there. At the same time, I am going to have to start handcrafting a whole bunch of things. So we're going to need a heap of assemblers. I'll have all of those and we'll have our gearbox. At the same time, because we're going to be running a fair distance away, we'll top up everything we possibly can, empty everything we possibly can as well. Call into you guys. Empty all of those. Uh, and a whole bunch of inserters. Okay. Blueprints. Jump starter base. Uh, roughly here. I want to avoid the copper. Uh, that'll do us. Uh, we're going to need a whole bunch of smelters. Uh, a lot of belt, couple of undergrounds, couple of splitters, and yeah, the bots to get hard to work. Uh, also, power poles. Power poles is one thing I overlooked. Oh no, we've got a hundred and well, almost a hundred. Okay, so jump starter base. Jump starter base does a little bit of everything. Actually, the first thing I need to do is I need to remove ammo production because we've already got that. And I would definitely like to have a little bit of temporary steel. Turns out I have the early blueprint, not the version uh, version 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, okay, so yeah, come on, come on, bots, try harder. Uh, power pole there instead. We need to do some 
underground trickery. Uh, Cole's going to be on the outside of the building. Whole bunch of inserters. Okay, uh, so, oop, well, I didn't really want that burner inserter. Okay, so we need to craft a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, at the same time, we're gonna have to grab some electric drills because we're definitely at the stage where we're gonna run everything on electricity. A uh, couple of housekeeping things. One, we're gonna need a bit more coal up and running, so we'll get that started. Really? I thought I just topped up everybody. Okay, coal. Uh, a bit more coal. That's a lot of coal. Can we get rid of all the trees, please? Thank you. Uh, power poles that side. I know this is just going to put coal on one side of the belt, but that's okay for right now. We're probably going to have to handcraft the belt just with the sheer amount that we're going to need to go through. Because we have early automation, but it's early and it's slow. Okay, so that gives us coal up and running. We've got eight miners. We'll get copper next, because it's just the closest. Uh, one, two... Miss one, one, two... Yeah, that'll do us. Uh, power pole there, 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 and there. Uh, if you haven't seen this design before, it's something really, really common amongst speedrunners. Uh... We don't need that, we don't need that, we don't need that. We're out of Burner City. Uh, can we have that, that, and that on the toolbar? Bring the copper down. Find the closest power input. And we want to run this. Uh, it doesn't... No, I need to have... No, actually, it doesn't matter whether copper or iron is on top or bottom. There we go. Quickest way to make a couple of straight lines. Uh, research is done. Uh, we're going to go great. Oh, we're going to grab some physical projectile damage because it takes a long time to research. Uh, same time, we'll tick off walls and a couple of other things just because research is progressing faster than I am currently. Uh, I need to bring in coal, which obviously coals at the top. So we're going to tap off our coal here and bring it across. We don't have copper up and running yet. Uh, copper. Um, we don't have iron up and running yet, but, you know, one problem at a time. Uh, underground, that across. Grab some more belt. Handcraft a whole bunch more belt. All the belt. All the belt, please. And... Tap that in there. I didn't bring power with me. Power is right down here. Yep, through our lovely crashed spaceship because JD can pilot for nothing. Uh, that one, that one, that one. Okay, and then how many miners do I have? Four. Four is not going to be quite enough. So that's stone. We want iron. Uh, I should really start at the edge, but we're going to start right here. Uh... Okay, and the reason I tend to, it's something I've adopted quite recently actually, I uh, started building smelters in this direction, or this design, I'll show you in just a sec after we top back up with a bit more iron, oh and those belts, where are those belts, and probably all those gears, and we'll grab the green circuits, excellent. Uh, reason I do this is one belt runs straight down the middle, uh, through the tree of course. Uh, but power wise, we put power there, power there, power there, there, uh, there, and there. And yeah, and then just run this back to the main power line, wherever that is. Uh, we want you to output probably left to run the power plant first. And as you can see, doing the power poles like this means this side is powered from this side. It's just that much more efficient. And it means the next set of miners I can put hard up against the rear of this set of miners. Uh, we want to hit... That's the point we're aiming for. Run that down. Run that across. 
Uh, let's run underground in over here. And yes, I've got an odd amount of undergrounds already. It's fine. If you don't look at it, it doesn't exist. I know, it doesn't help that it's on my toolbar. Uh, go away, rocks. Okay. So, eventually, you guys are going to get coal. We're going to need more miners for that, definitely. Uh, that runs to there. That needs a whole bunch of inserters and other things we don't have currently. We do have access to fast inserters and longhand inserters, so we'll get them crafted up whilst we go dump down some more coal, because coal is going to be our shortage, because obviously you're going to prioritize power first and everything else second. But if we can... Oh, that doesn't help either. Yeah, it, it, it's fine for early, uh, but um, doesn't work. Doesn't work long term. Definitely does not work long term. Can I get any miners? I can get a couple. Okay. Most of the coal's on the other side of the belt anyway. Uh, can we just clear that, please? I know we're overdoing it on one side of the belt, but that's fine. Uh, it doesn't really matter if all the coal is on one side of the belt. As long as you don't max the throughput of the belt, which would be 15 miners. 12. We're fine. Uh... 15 miners would m max one side of the belt. We're going to grab the ammo. We're going to grab the green circuits. Uh, you are out of iron. That is not good. I'm out of iron. That's also not good. Yeah, we need the new little base up and running. Uh, iron, 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 iron. There we go. Uh, dump that in there. Yeah, you do have a lot of gears, so you got enough to keep running for quite some time. And power's short. Of course it is. Uh, one, two, one, two. One, two. Copy! That as is. Paste it right there. Uh, and I need a pipe. Oh! That one's missing its pipe too. Ha! Well, there we go. We just instantly added 25% more power to the first, the first blueprint and... Then doubled it. That should cover us for a bit. Alright. With that said, our starter base should... It's still waiting on coal, really? No, coal's coming. Here we go. Rocks, go away. Alright. If we can get all these inserters put down, we should be right to go. And the belt. the wrong way. Damn. Uh, I want you to bring the coal out. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, what are we missing? It's, it's a little bit awkward to see inserters. Okay, but at least we've got some materials coming in. So now I can stand here and pick up the materials I need. Can I get a power pole over there, please? Thank you. Pull out that copper. That's going to make our steel when we unlock steel. Uh, and we all obviously need, what, four more assemblers? One, two, three, four. Uh, and then obviously still need more fast inserters. And more longhand inserters. And more materials. Yeah, half these are missing inserters. That's why they're not running. Yeah, they're working on ghosty ones. Uh... Running speed bonus increased by 10%. There you go. I spent so much time running. I have built up some cardio. And now we can run a little bit faster. Wait till we start concreting the world. Uh, okay. So, back to inserters. Give me all the materials, please. Uh, is that a count out? Right amount of... Obviously not. No, I still need three more assemblers. But mainly those inserters. Can we get some inserters, please? 
definitely more inserters. Let's go run all the way back to the main base. Okay, those rocks can go away. Oh, the, the, the main base. The, the, the burner city. Because let's be honest, that's what it still is. Burner city. Copper. Our inventory is slowly filling up with copper. I didn't grab gears. Damn. Okay. Uh, and it gives me an excuse to dump a heap of coal in the furnaces at the same time. Alright, I have positive inserters in my inventory, which means we're all caught up with those. Uh, they're all done. So yes, I have... Actually, let's put this on the toolbar. Yellow. Or red. Blue. Uh, can, I, can I have an assembly machine back, please? Thank you. Put an assembly machine there. A power pole there. I can hear... Yeah, one of them's having an argument with a with a rock and slowly losing okay so we need some wooden boxes so we can fill up all these boxes uh you have we done the research yet no we haven't okay well our early base is definitely up and running enough that we're going to start making uh our first green science and then radar mark one sure Mm, probably not. We probably can't afford it. Uh, steel, back to ammo. Alright, so this is our, our very, very early, early, early base. So we're bringing in a lane of copper and a lane of iron, hopefully. Uh, iron, yeah. Copper, no. Okay, so copper definitely needs a small tweak. Uh, actually, if I put copper in your output and your output... Well, actually, it's already backed up in copper anyway. Uh, nope, some idiot reversed or rotated a belt. Okay, if we put copper into the output slots of some of these furnaces, uh, one, it removes it from my inventory, two, it'll run through the smelters to where it needs to go. Uh, I want a stack of 100, please. I've also got 25. All. Okay, so this will give us our iron, well, copper on the top, iron on the bottom. These two here will make steel eventually. Uh, we've got a couple of little green circuits on a tiny, tiny, tiny little bus. We're also making belt here now and inserters. Uh, these guys will make green science after we finish unlocking green science. We're also going to start automating uh, assemblers, miners, and of course guns. Guns are probably important. Uh, the guns will only happen eventually when all this is up and running. But at the meantime, we have our very, very first early little tiny itsy bitsy starter base. It will make some green Green science, which unfortunately we either move, need to move our labs over there or we can physically put up, uh, pick up and put them into our labs for the moment. Uh, either or, both work. Uh, at the same time, we can start looking at stocking, restocking our inventory uh, and crafting a whole bunch of furnaces because that's really the next step. Having some decent furnace blocks. Uh, and bite us. And I didn't craft a new pistol. Oh! Oh! Uh, go away. So, as I said with this series, uh, we're going to be... I want an SMG, please. Uh, cancel that. I researched turrets and everything. Dying... So as I said with this series, uh, we're going to be removing all colour from the planet. As you can see, uh, biters have just a tiny amount of colour to them. So they need to be removed, which means a couple of things. One, we're going to have to concrete the world. Uh, we're lucky enough we're on an island, so it is limited in the amount of concreting we have to do. Oh boy. Splat. Boom. Uh, can I have that? That goes there. Yeah. Much better! Uh, they are heavily armoured fighters, so they're going to still take a while to get the message. I just need to implant enough friendship pellets. As you can see, we are tossing a certain amount of friendship pellet casings on the ground just above us. Hey! Done. Excellent. Okay, let's put all this back. Uh, 
to... So yeah, uh, we need to remove all colour from the planet. And to do that, we're going to have to uh, negotiate with the locals and convince them that colour is bad. Colour is bad. Uh, and consequently, it's gonna take a while to desaturate the planet and remove all the friends. Can I get dual SMGs, please? That sounds like a great idea. After seeing how much ammo the first ones took. Alright, we're gonna have that. We're gonna have... No idea. Uh, definitely need a radar. Yeah, let's craft one of those. And I have alien ore. Great, great. Something we're going to have to work out what to do with. All right. Where were we? Uh, I was talking about what we're going to do next and talking about starting up a, setting up our little starter base. Starter base is definitely running. Uh, your cap's nice and short. You guys are going to start doing green science packs. Uh, and I've had a lot of people ask uh, about the mod and details about the mod and where they can get the mod. Being this is episode two, hopefully, obviously the video is not up on YouTube yet, hopefully it's down in the description below. So you should be able to grab your own copy of Nontorio, along with, there'll be, um, f a f well, hopefully there should be a full mod list along with uh, mod settings data file and a save game file. So you can actually go and just download my save and then sync your mods with that save rather than having to type them in all uh, all manually and then remember to actually put it, the mod settings file in your uh, mod directory because that should get you the exact same settings I'm using, hopefully, hopefully. Um, I have a habit of tweaking the settings as series go uh, as I understand what each of the mods do because I'm like you, I have no idea what each of these mods do till I actually start playing with them. With that said, we are going to start definitely pasting down a couple of smelter blocks. Uh, we're going to... Big book of smelters. No, wrong button. Uh, we want to... No, rotate. Uh, that's stone brick. That's steel. Uh, that smelter, which is a iron and copper smelter. And more importantly, it feeds in coal from the top. So that goes there. Uh, bring that back up and we're gonna go paste 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 okay so how many lanes is that that's one two three four five six I really wish this lake was not in the way uh, we want a decon planner which is gonna be set to trees and rocks I'm gonna say all of that go away uh, same time we were handcrafting 280 of those. Good luck, bots. Uh, we can grab that. What's our power line? It's fine so far. They're all running, pumping out green science, which we'll get to and start using eventually. Meantime, let's start pasting down smelting blocks. Oh, actually, let's do one better. Just decon everything, please. Everything in that area. Uh, we'll undeck on that and undeck on that. I want to make sure I have a clear working space. Yeah, see this, this, this color. We can't have it. We can't have it. Uh, did I ever craft that radar? I did. Radar. How? Oh, it doesn't reveal that much of the map. Okay. Uh, where were we? We were Big Book of Smelters. Now I can run peacefully. We can go one, two, three, four, five. I don't think... No, I can't really get a sixth one in. Okay, uh, Smelters. Many, many, many Smelters. Many, many power poles. After you knew one of you would get in the way. And again. Alright, I'll stand above where I'm placing. And hopefully that fixes the problem. No, maybe. No, because now they're working below me. You idiots. You idiots. Can you guys do important things like power poles, please? Uh, 
Uh, we're actually going to run out of smelters, it looks like. Which is not bad, because I don't think I've mined any stone automatically. All by hand. No, we found another stack of smelters. Uh, no, we got all the smelters. Okay, uh, power poles. That's one thing I don't have. All the power poles, please. Actually, we'll do one better. We will go and pick up from our box of goodies. There is a whole bunch of copper cable right there. Yeah, 140. Cancel. Okay, 240 power poles. We can make 70 before we got to start crafting cable. Uh, craft all those. Really? You're out of fuel. Uh, we're going to put some monster bodies in you. Yes, I can burn biters. I can burn biters to make fuel to, ki to, to fuel the factory. Crafting speed increased to 30%. There we go. See, all this early handcrafting definitely has a benefit. You get more practice. At the same time, we're going to start concreting what we can, where we can. Uh, that was not much, but we got some concreting done. It sped us up a little bit. So we want to have big box of inserters, big box of belt. Uh, cannot insert small electric belt. That's fine. Okay, I want to put down belt. Because belt requires running in straight lines. Bots, you guys can do everything else, please. At the same time, I definitely want to start getting some stone down as early as possible. Because as I can definitely feel it. I don't know whether you guys can see it. But my run speed, speed keeps changing as I keep running across different surfaces. Because, because we're running alien biomes... Uh, all the surfaces have different run speeds, uh, and some of them are slower. And I do not like it. I don't like. It. I like. I like the pictures. I, I. I. I like the variety in terrain. I don't like the fact that it slows me down. Oh, you guys can't fit my inventory. That's your issue. Okay. Now you guys can jump my inventory for a half a second. You can pick up stuff and put it down. Preferably power poles. All the power poles. Uh, almost. Okay, I need... I have no idea how many of those. Uh, we'll get those put in. We'll get that put in. That little section. That little section. Done, 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 done. And underground in there so we can start feeding coal through. Uh, I need more undergrounds. And, uh, more splitters and definitely more undergrounds. And in the meantime... Book of Smelters. We're going to put down one of these. Because this, although one little bit of it's missing is actually designed to start smelting brick for us. This is a stone smelter. So it takes in two belts of stone and pumps out one belt of bricks. Which at the moment we're probably going to hand feed, but it means I can get stuff out of my inventory. Out of my own construction drone. Uh, I'm out of belt. It means I can get stuff out of my inventory. So all the stone we're going to keep picking up because as you found, as you've seen, us being a volcanic biome. Uh, one, it's pretty and colourful. Two, uh, there's lots of lots of uh, stone on the ground that we've got to deal with. Cool. That fixes that problem. Uh, underground. Underground, 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 underground. More undergrounds. More splitters are needed. Definitely more splitters are needed. What are you holding? Oh. Uh, yes, yeah, some mistakes were made because they're holding, because I fill them up with coal. Uh, manually, they have too much coal on them now. Uh, so what was I doing? I was doing underground splitters. No, just splitters. And many, 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 many inserters.
Uh, more inserts. Many, 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 many. Where's that? All the way over there. Of course, it's nice and close. Oh, they're destroying so much. Alright. I think next episode we're going to need to have some guns. Definitely need some guns. And it looks like we need our guns over here. Oi! No colour on the map. And we need some bullet upgrades. Definitely. Oh boy, do we need some bullet upgrades. So, these are medium snappers. Mediums? Oh wow, we're up to mediums already. Okay. Uh, medium sized enemy, relatively slow, but well armored. And I can confirm the armoring part. They are. Can we shoot that one, please? He's got less health. Please, 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 please die, please die. Anytime now. There we go. And then your friend who are slowly counting down easy points. Yeah. And I think science has run out, or is it taking over really slowly? <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. Uh, rebuild this for the third time. Uh, power pole there and there and there and there. Uh, might want to request some blueprints at the same time. There's steel pickaxe. Uh, physical projectile damage. Yes, definitely. Uh, we already have guns. Military 2. There's my dual submachine guns. We're going to grab that and we're going to grab that because two submachine guns definitely is better than one. And, you know, need that whole Rambo feel. Anyway, with that said, I think this is where we're going to end today's episode. Uh, standing on the blood of our victims. Uh, next episode. Next episode, definitely going to be putting in definitely some automated defenses. Probably even be smart and put a radar on this side of the base with a couple of, as I said, those automated defenses. And we're going to see what happens in the next couple of episodes. With all that said, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I do hope you're going to enjoy this series. I do hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. Remember, if you are enjoying you think your friends might enjoy it, please do me two favors, okay? One, leave a like. Leave a like, help the YouTube algorithm, well, tell the YouTube, YouTube algorithm this video is great. You should definitely show other uh, Factorio players. At the same time, if you've got any comments, leave them down below. Uh, love reading the comments. Uh, I do my absolute hardest to read the comments, but sometimes they do get out of hand, so... Yeah, comments, always appreciate it. Uh, lastly, very, very important, lastly, if you have watched the first episode and the second episode, and you're looking forward to the third episode, click the subscribe button, because I cannot guarantee these will actually be daily episodes. There's always a video on the channel every single day, but I'm not going to guarantee they're all going to be factory. And with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you're enjoying. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye. Mm -hmm.